After terrorists' family blames Americans for bombing, cops discover their sick secret. The family of Akadala, the terrorist who was radicalized by the Islamic State and blew up a bomb inside the Port Authority in New York, just blamed all Americans for the jihadists' actions. After the bombing, the New York cops showed up at the Ella family home to interrogate them, and what authorities discovered was a sick secret inside their house, which proves they should be deported immediately. The family of Akadala is upset but not at their loved one who tried to blow up Americans. They are blasting the cops who showed up to interrogate them, suggesting our law enforcement officials had no right to question them after a radicalized terrorist, who was out to blow up Americans, was living in their home. NBC News reports, the family of Akadala claimed officers forced a four-year-old girl in the cold and pulled another teenage relative from his high school class and interrogated him without a parent guardian or attorney present. The report adds, in a statement read by Albert Foxcan, the legal director for the Council on American-Islamic Relations in New York, the family said it was outraged by the behavior of law enforcement following the bombing. They are outraged. Well, their outrage exposed their sick secret to police, who quickly discovered the family not only harbored a terrorist but they also harbor anti-American sentiments inside their home. Okadala is not the only family member full of hate toward Americans inside that house. So, why are they living in America? These are not the sorts of actions we expect from our justice system, said Khan. We have every confidence that our justice system will find the truth behind this attack and that we will, in the end, be able to learn what occurred today. We all know what occurred. Blaming the American justice system by inferring our cops did something wrong by doing their job is blaming America and Americans. Saying we don't know the truth behind this attack is ridiculous. Allah wanted to kill Americans in the name of his twisted beliefs, and it sounds like his family is claiming something sinister happened to their son along with claiming something sinister happened to them because cops showed up and interrogated them. Are we now to believe these people lived with this guy and had no idea of what he was up to? The New York Post reports, the family continued to criticize the way the investigation was handled, even though the suspect, Agadala, allegedly launched a failed terror attack in a crowded city subway tunnel. I realize these are not politically correct things to say, but if you are like me, you are sick and tired of the terrorist attacks and the liberal media's portrayal pretending it is not radicalized Islamists doing these things. Then, you have this family crapping on our cops, spitting in our faces, and we shouldn't be upset.